Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 27th. Hey, we're going to spend some time today with Justin Elliott talking about Logan Martin and Lay Lake, as well as Neely Henry and Weiss. And we're going to hit up with Tom Ott and talk about what him and St. Jennifer are doing up there at the Big Lake on Lake Gunnersville. Stay tuned for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 27th, presented by Mercury. Now, good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 27th. Man, two months through 2021. And Tom, we finally got some warm weather over the last couple of weeks here. Have you been out there on Gunnersville, you and St. Jennifer, throwing them things around, trying to drag a few in? You know we have. You know we have. I mean, uh, I'm just uh, I, I'm just loving the weather, uh, and now it's gone back to uh, nasty again. So, uh, you know, it's it's the... It's the plight of every uh, weekend fisherman, I guess, you know. But, uh, man, I'm telling you, Dano, those, uh, we've got some, the waters back up, uh, so that's a good thing. We're starting to see some warmer water temps. Uh, you know, we're seeing some high 40s, low 50s right now. Uh, the fish are really starting to pile in where they ought to be. Uh, you know, you've been talking about ditches and drains and things of that nature. That's where they are. The ditches, the drains, the points, grass points, uh, Hard bottom, if you've got some scattered grass, I mean, the rattle trap or the rattle baits are really, really uh, showing out right now. So, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing I would say is slow yourself down. You don't need to reel 100 miles an hour. Those fish are still a little lethargic, but uh, they are definitely where they ought to be. And it's just going to bust wide open uh, the closer we get to spring. So you, you mentioned lipless baits, rattle traps, those, you know, uh, red-eyed shads, those kinds of things. What else could people do that they might be able to get a few bites on? <clears throat> you know, uh, the, uh, the vibrating jigs, obviously, uh, you know, the thunder crickets, those kind of things are really taking, uh, they've taken gunners will buy storm the last few years, but I mean, they don't take a whole lot of, uh, uh, you, you know, you cast them out and you just reel nice and slow and keep them out of the grass. Uh, that's definitely producing quite a few bites. Uh, even some spinner baits, you know, Colorado uh, blade spinner baits, uh, Indiana blade spinner baits, kind of slow rolled over the grass or down some uh, down some vertical uh, drops uh, seem to be really, you know, right now. I mean, these fish are wanting to be in a feeding mode, so they're going to start. They're eating up. Uh, the swim bait bite's kind of falling off a little bit, but that's going to, you know, it, that only gets stronger into the May and June months. Well, as always, we know you and St. Jennifer are going to be out there doing us proud, slinging them baits around, trying to drag a few in. As always, we appreciate the time that you spend with us. Uh, have fun this weekend, and uh, we will talk to you again soon. Thank you, Dano. We, uh, you know, we love our Mercury, and uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on. <clears throat> Sounds good. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 27th. We're going to head on down to uh, a good friend of ours, Justin Elliott. He's doing double duty this week, but let's start, Justin, with Logan Martin and Lay Lake. We know that you're getting out a little bit, not as much as we'd like to because the weather's cold, but tell us what's been going on down there at Logan Martin to start with. So at Logan, it's, it's typical spring, but it's fishing like light winter. Um, you know, the fish are wanting to pull up. The, the weather this past week's got them wanting to come up. Um, typical typical stuff you'd normally be throwing. Uh, you know, rattle traps, chatterbaits, stuff like that on main lake flats. Main lake points and up, on up later in the day as the sun gets up and the water starts warming up, I'm moving back to secondary points and getting on some of that stuff. Those fish are really wanting to pull up and move back. Um, they just hadn't fully committed. So I feel like the fish are kind of moving back and forth a lot more than they normally would this time of the year, but it's, it's, you know, a lot later than it normally be. Normally we don't have this late, this late cold snap like we've had here the past couple weeks. And it seemed like the fish were really kind of starting to make their moves. And then we got those rains and we got some muddy water and that kind of either pushes the fish that are already back up tight, up shallow, and it keeps the ones that were ready to go in kind of keeps them out at bay. Is that the kind of stuff you're seeing? Yeah, yeah, you know, we had a really good push a couple weeks ago where they started moving up and then we got all the rain and the water got really muddy and it got really cold and muddy, which, you know, fish don't really like cold, muddy water. They like warm, muddy water, but they do not like cold, and muddy. And we had a whole lot of cold, and muddy for the past couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, this week with all this warm weather, I feel like it's really going to make that push uh, back up in those creeks a lot more, you know, applicable. I think you can get back in the creeks, secondary points, stuff like that. And, and probably, probably make a pretty good bag out of it if you find the right fish. 
So let's move to Lele quickly. Um, is it the same kind of stuff? Or are you maybe looking at wood a little bit more? What kind of things are you having to find there? No, at, at Lay, I'm focusing solely on the backs of those creeks. You know, I find take I take some of those big creek arms, take beeswax, for example, and I'm fishing from the point coming into beeswax back about eighth of a mile, and I'm out. Those fish haven't made it to the backs of those things yet. They're working their way back there, but they're they're not on the main lake points. They're on those first points going into pockets, points of creeks, stuff like that. Um, same type of baits, rattle baits. Uh, a buddy of mine's catching a really good on a jerk bait down there still right now, a real shallow running jerk bait. Um, he won't let me know which one it is or what color it is, but he tells me he's catching on a jerk bait. What a great friend. Uh, <laughs> he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's on y'all's pro staff, too. <clears throat> yeah, well. Anyway, Justin, thanks so much for spending the time with us today talking about Logan Martin and Lay Lake, and we will talk to you again here in just a minute as we go right. check in on Neely Henry and Weiss Lake with you, too. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February the 27th. Hey, we're going to head on back out with Justin Elliott, who spent a little bit of time recently on Neely Henry, and he's totally in touch with Weiss Lake, checking in with all those people up there all the time. So, Justin, let's start with Weiss Lake. What kind of things can an angler expect? I know the water's still probably fluctuating a bit, but uh, what kind of what can, what, they, what can they expect up there at Weiss Lake? So in my book, the water's still cold up there. It's still high 40s, which is, you know, frigid for us Alabama guys. Um, but from what I hear, you know, guys are having some success on, on a lot of wood. Uh, fish aren't really relating to that much rock up there right now. Um, they're really hanging on that wood, tight to docks, tight to timber, uh, stuff like that. A lot of guys are catching and flipping a jig and just dragging a jig. You know, some of them are even, you know, as much as dead sticking it, just letting the jig sit there and letting the fish find it instead of, you know, a reaction bite kind of thing. We have heard a few fish being taken on spinner baits, maybe even some of the better ones, but it's not very much, and it's got to be a double Colorado type of a deal. Uh, yeah, it's in the a very water. slow deal up here right now. So I know that Neely's been a little bit slow. There's been a lot of current going through there, but there's still a few bites to be had. Uh, basic patterns, what can people look for when they want to get out there and target Neely Henry right now? Uh, what I'm looking at, what I've been fishing is, you know, uh, creeks pockets some of those larger pockets some of those larger sloughs that have the flats some of the stump rows stuff like that in them uh not really getting any bites on a on a slow moving bait everything's going to be on a, a you know a reaction bite rattle trap chatter bait uh stuff like that um really focusing on those flats with wood flats with rock i hadn't really been doing that much off of but the flats with wood on them you know you got stumps lay down stuff like that if you can find that stuff it, it, it's proven to be successful but I think with this warming trend we had this week, although we've got a little bit of rain coming in tomorrow, I say a little bit lightly. Um, <laughs> I think that uh, I think those fish are really going to start that push back. Um, and as you move back in those creeks, I think you could pretty much start at the mouth and work your way back. And at some point, you're going to run into them. Um, I don't know how far back you've got to go to find them right now. Um, last weekend, I fished from the mouth all the way to the back, and I never ran into them. I know they're there. I just never ran into them. It's only a matter of time before you find them, though. Yeah, I like to I like to kind of start and work my way back this time of the year and see if I can run into them, especially when there's there's muddy water coming in because I don't think those fish are going to really really move into the backs. No. But a little bit later in the spring, I might go all the way to the back and work my way out and hope to run into them that way. But this time of the year, I work the other way. Well, Justin, thanks as always, man. We appreciate the time. Thanks for spending this time with us on our Bucks Island area fishing report for Neely Henry. Any time, man. Thanks, brother. Thank y'all. Well, that'll do it for our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, February 27th, presented by Mercury. Thanks to the guys for all their experience and expertise on the bodies of water that we, we talk about. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our channels, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. That way you can be notified whenever we go live. And don't forget all of the tackle you need to be able to catch fish on your favorite body of water and those right here in our area at the Loft Tackle Store right here at Bucks Island.